Hi, Alex. Hello. Hi. Your studio looks so bright and colorful. Thank you. <laughs> Here, I'll back the camera up just a little bit more. Just a little bit. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, so this is one corner of a shared office, and this is my studio space. So you are an artist, but you also are a graphic designer, which I attest is another form of art. Um, and I feel like these two things really go hand in hand for you because one of the big things with what you're working with with your beaded earrings is color. <laughs> and uh, graphic design is all about color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I well, so I studied abstract expressionism in college and specifically color field painting. So I've like always been just very drawn to that. And um, yeah, that's like kind of one of the biggest draws to art for me is just getting to play with bright colors. So very cool. And then like I've noticed in a lot of the photo photographing that you do, the product photography that I've seen on your page, you use mm -hmm. Pantones as kind of like an inspiration for developing color palettes. Yeah, totally. So um, Pantone swatches, which I have their like postcard set here just to kind of share with you guys. But um, yeah, Pantone is like a universal colors matching system. So it's very common in graphic design, especially because you uh, have to be very precise about color matching for branding and things like that. So yeah, I love just looking through these and <laughs> getting inspiration. And I do use them in my product photography sometimes. Yeah, they're really cool. And they've got like a novelty that like people recognize because, you know, it's, it's an industry standard for printing, for, for uh, graphic design and for a number of other areas. So it's something that like people connect with. I know when I saw the Pantones in there, I was like, oh, cool. Yeah, I know what those are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It has it definitely has a little, like, not little, it has a huge following. <laughs> huge following, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, okay, well, let's see what you make your, your designs with. You've got your beads that you wanted to show us, I think. Yeah, I <laughs> thought it would be fun to show you guys, like, how I store and organize them. Um, so, I'm going to adjust the camera, and I'm going to try and do it slowly. I don't want to make anybody okay, seasick. Okay, yeah, don't make anybody sick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um flip the camera around. So I store my beads in kind of like two primary areas, this little drawer system, and then they're all like color coded. So like we've got all of our red ones, you know, yellows, yellow is one of my favorite colors. So this is like jammed full. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and then, so yeah, this is kind of primary storage. And then if I pan over here, nice and slow, I've got backup storage. Um, yeah. Let's see. Let me come out. This is um, kind of the main area, I guess. And then if I flip around, mm -hmm. I have more, more beads. Oh, that's a cat. That's my cat pretzel. You get a <laughs> yes, we are doing, we're doing a lot of studio pets today. <laughs> What's your um, name real quick? Yeah, this is pretzel. pretzel. Uh, He's a goober. <laughs> oh, hi, Pretzel. He's a good studio <laughs> cat. Really keeps to his own space. Yeah, and we, um, yeah, this, his bed was a gift from Joyce and Tim Gabriel. So, uh -huh. yeah, they have a little spot in our studio. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Yeah. Um, so do you want me to talk a little bit about, like, designing and how that goes? Great, let's do it. Okay. I, I see you've got a couple of earrings out and your little beading area. Yeah, so I will use, um, uh, this is Adobe Illustrator, which is more of like a graphic design program, although I, I think a lot of industries can use it. Yes. But um, this is one tool that I use for designing earrings. So I will like, draw out all the little beads um, and then color them in and make my patterns. The other way that I do it is on um, Procreate on my iPad. So um, I created these bead grids for myself and um, then I'll like design and fill them in and try out a gazillion different 
colorways and try and pick my favorite. Um, but that's how that goes. These are really cool. These are some of the Scandinavian influenced ones, right? Yeah, so these this is like the folk flowers pattern that I've been working in lately. There's two versions. There's this one with like one main kind of tulip and then this version of the pattern that's a little bit smaller. And then this is what it looks like in bead form. Yeah, yeah that's really cool. I love These are scallops. These are different. <laughs> um, I see some questions popping up and I just want to remind people that the artists will be able to answer your questions, but they're going to do it when they are off camera. So <laughs> when they, will, they will get you soon though, so don't worry. Yeah. Um, so, okay, great. Those, uh, yes, yeah, so you're using illustrators, you're designing, and you've got mm -hmm. all of your, your uh, tool. Do we get to see your little tools in your flyers? Oh, yeah. So, yeah. let's see. Show us what you work with. Obviously, like lots of tubes of beads, um, <laughs> pliers, pliers, and like little scissors. Yeah. I can show you. Those, those um, are like really good for getting into the, the tight spaces between beads when they're already in a weave, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're like super. They're super, yeah, super sharp. <laughs> they're like the needle nose of uh, of uh, scissors. Yeah, they're yeah, they're really helpful. Um, I'll show you. Yeah, the bead mat that I use. I get a lot of questions on Instagram about this mm -hmm. because um, it's got a felt kind of foam base to it, so it's easier to pick the beads up on this material, mm -hmm. and then it has a top to it that clips in like that and folds down so you can, can pick you mm -hmm. yeah that's so that's great so like in case you have you're traveling or something or you're, you're doing it and you're do you yeah I remember seeing something you do these on your lunch break right yes exactly yeah. yeah especially when we were going into the office I would bring this with me every day and do it on my lunch break mm -hmm. so this is the earring I'm in the middle of today is this um kind of olive green color I call this style the danglers. Yeah, um, yeah. They have a lot of movement. Those are fun and long, yeah. Really elegant. Yeah, they're, they're like over four inches long. They're so fun to wear. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. So you also are doing some commission work right now. Um, and so one of the ideas that we talked about for the commission work was people downloading the bead grids and then being able to like kind of design their own earrings, right? Yeah, so the idea spawned from, um, I was at a different open studio event last year. I was chatting with um, a lady and her kiddo, and uh, we were talking about how cool it would be to for the kiddo to like color in the, the bead grid, which is this, which yeah. is the same one that I work with to design. And then like, uh, I could be like the kiddo could design it. I would beat it, and then it would be such an amazing gift for like a grandma or a mom or anybody with pierced ears. <laughs> yeah, that is a tricky thing with earrings. Is it always has to be uh, pierced pierced ears? You have to know that someone has the pierced ears. But... Yeah, I mean that being said, though, I've totally done clip-ons for people too. So I do keep a couple clip-on hooks on hand for folks. Oh, that's great. What a great idea for, yeah, for people that, that don't want to have a giant hole in their ear or a little tiny hole. <laughs> excuse, me, excuse me. It's just a little tiny hole. Okay, guys. So I'm um, in the chat right now. I'm going to post a link to Alex's grids uh, so that she can, you guys can go there and download those from her and, uh, and start designing your own earrings. I mean, how exciting is that? You have someone fill in all the colors and they come back to you and Alex creates this beautiful pair of earrings for you. Totally custom. So let's see, um, big grids. And we got your link in the chat. And I think that was pretty much all we were gonna talk about, Alex. Thank you so much for, for being on here. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for organizing this. It's oh, been, yeah, yeah, it's been a treat. <laughs> awesome, okay, so I'm gonna reclaim host and I'm gonna bring up our next person. All right, bye <laughs> Alex, thanks for coming on. Bye.